This video is going to review how to find gravitational potential energy just like we did in class using the gravitational potential energy equation. To do this, we're going to look at the example from page 104 in the textbook. The problem states, what is the gravitational potential energy of a ceiling fan that has a mass of 7 kilograms and sits 4 meters above the ground? Whenever trying to solve a problem like this, it's a good idea to write down the equation you want to use and the known information. So we know that the mass of the ceiling fan is 7 kilograms. We also know that its height above the floor would be 4 meters. And gravitational potential is going to require us to know the rate of gravity, which is 9.8 meters over second squared, which is an acceleration. Since we're looking for gravitational potential energy, the equation is GPE for gravitational potential energy equals the mass times the gravity times the height. We plug our numbers in. For mass, 7 kilograms. The rate of gravity is 9.8 meters over second squared, and the height is 4 meters above the ground. On our calculator, we'll type in our values 7 kilograms times 9.8 times 4 meters, and we find a value to be 274.4 As with all of our numbers in science class, we should record the units. Now, the units are kilograms times meters over second squared times meters again. Well, we can simplify that. Meters times meters would be meters squared. And from class, we've learned that if you've got a kilogram times meters squared over second squared, that's equal to a joule which receives a capital J as a symbol. So our final solution should probably be 274 joules. So some things to think about when you're solving problems for gravitational potential energy. One, you must remember that you must have the mass, the gravity, and the height in order to figure out gravitational potential energy. You may also find problems which have been rearranged where maybe you know the gravitational potential energy the mass and gravity, and you must find out how high that object was. Another thing, our units for determining energy are in joules, which is equal to a kilogram times meters squared over seconds squared. This concludes this video on gravitational potential energy.